Why would anybody put a phone into a salad spinner? Well, to explore centrifugal acceleration. Hey folks, this is Sebastian. So what's centrifugal acceleration? Although the word sounds a little bit complicated, you all know this effect. It's what seems to push you to the left when you're turning right in a car. But I don't want to go into too much details here on how it works or if we should rather talk about centripetal acceleration, but instead I just want to create a short video explaining to you how to use a smartphone to measure the relation between a centrifugal acceleration and the rotation speed, or to be more precise, the angular velocity. For this experiment you will need Firefox, which is available for free on Android and iOS. Just visit firefox.org and follow the respective link. Since your phone will be spinning, a second device like a notebook, tablet or another phone is recommended to remotely control the experiment. And finally and obviously you will need a means to rotate your phone safely. A salad spinner works great, but there are many rotating things out there. Just make sure that your phone is safely mounted and cannot get damaged in any way. Now you just have to start VFOX and open the experiment centrifugal acceleration from the mechanics section. Enable the remote access and connect your second device. If you have any problems with this step, visit VFOX.org to find help on setting up the remote control. Place your phone in the salad spinner and add some padding to keep the phone from falling to the center at low speed. Now you just have to start the experiment and operate the salad spinner. Firefox will measure the angular velocity using the phone's gyroscope and the acceleration using the accelerometer. You should try different rotation speeds and generate data for a whole range of angular velocities. Just don't go too fast as at some point your phone's sensors will not be able to keep up which will lead to strange results. You will find that the centrifugal acceleration increases with the square of the angular velocity. Firefox even shows a square plot to verify this. If you look into the theory behind this, you will learn that the actual relation also involves the radius, which you could also extract from the data. Actually, this experiment has been suggested to me by a physics teacher. And I have to say, the first time I tried it myself, I was quite surprised on how easily it could be done and on how well the data follows the theory. So I wish you all much fun trying it yourself at home. Just be careful not to damage your phones. And I'd like to end this video with a few clips from our first year physics students who did this experiment in their own creative ways um, for our Physics 1 lecture. So thanks a lot to those students for sending in a video. Thanks to you for watching and see you all next time.